So you're gonna set yourself up in a 90-90 position. Have a block here just beside me, just in case you need a little bit of support, which I'll explain. So set yourself up in that 90 degrees through the front leg, and then you set yourself up in 90 degrees through the back leg. Now, if there's any kind of pinch in and around the knees, you can always just close this angle a little bit. 90-90, it's just a visual, okay? But obviously we work back towards that 90 degrees if we can. Now from here, if you feel like you're really shifting your weight to the side, it's not necessarily a super bad thing, but you can use the block. So I'll place the block just on the outside of that hip and using my hand as a bit of assistance to kind of give me a bit of a kickstand to keep me a bit more upright. So generally speaking, the internal rotation on that back leg is what's restricting us from staying up as tall as we can. So it does tend to kind of open up this angle by leaning to the side. But we want to be as strict as we can, again, just to help with progression. So here, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to close this angle. We're going to do a little bit of kinetic stretching here where we close again the front angle. We're going to do three reps of that. We're then going to bear transition. So coming into bear sit as we transition across to the opposite side. Now, what I want you to be strict upon here is that this knee is actually driving down through the floor, okay? This back knee is also driving down. So we're really trying to keep that hip nice and square here. So when we start to lower ourselves down, I want you to recruit this area as best you can. So the best way to think of it is if this block was actually placed here, you would be trying to squeeze that block. So what I want you to think of is, is squeezing down. So we'll start to lower down where I'm really squeezing as best I can. So I'm trying to pull this leg actually towards my chest. Then when I get down as low as I can, it's a little pause. And then I recruit the outside of the leg. So I really squeeze on the outside of this front leg into the floor. So I'm pushing into the floor to come back up. We would go down again. So squeeze the inside. You can see I'm really squeezing that inside. Lower myself down. Again, push the knee down to bring me back up. So we go one more. Again, pull yourself down into that lowest position. Push the knee down to bring you all the way back up. We don't completely relax at the top, so I actually am keeping tension here in the body. Now from there, I'm going to press my toes into the floor. So don't mind if the heel raises. You're gonna to start to pull that knee up as best you can. So you get up as high as possible. The minute you feel like you can't go anymore, start to let this knee win a little bit. So let this come up. As this comes up, this keeps going out. Okay, so you'll notice I'll place my hands behind just to show you that we can use kickstands here to come right out into that bear sit. When I'm in a bear sit, I am placing my heels on the floor. Now, if you have the ability to do this without your hands at the back, by all means, you can also do that, okay? So now when we get to that bear sit, this knee now starts to win, so we're pulling it down towards the floor. As we can't go anymore, we start to allow this one to come up. So they're kind of fighting against each other, so they're constantly trying to stay as far away. We rotate around like so, and then we start kinetic stretching down at the front leg. So same thing again, if you need a kickstand from the block, place it on the outside. We're going to pull ourselves down, and then we drive that knee into the floor to bring us back up. We don't completely relax at the top. We pull ourselves down, drive the knee down through the floor to bring us back up, pull ourselves down, drive that knee to bring us back up. Again, we don't completely relax. We're gonna bear transition across to the opposite side. So again, pull those knees apart, come all the way across, and then again, we're back into our reps. 